Food Bus 420. 420? Food Bus 420 Munchies Edition. So we've been looking around the house. We got our kitchen cabinets. We got our homies snacking on our own food that we buy ourselves. And we can't find any food for ourselves anymore because they ate it all. And you know what day it is? It's 420 Hitler's birthday. Blaze it, baby. So you know what? We're doing Food Bus Episode 2. We about to snack on the city bus. Alright guys, in the spirit of 420 Blaze It, we got two California burritos, we're here in Roberto's taco shop, and we're just just enjoying the scenery, what are your thoughts? Get a burrito rolled up like the big ass. Get a burrito rolled up like, what the fudge? Get a burrito rolled up like, what's up? Get a burrito rolled up, hit your stomach like an uppercut. Get a burrito, put it down like a gummy bear. Get a burrito rolled up, man, you can eat that thing like anywhere. Welcome to Food Bus episode two. All right, for those of you who saw Food Bus episode one, we finally have come to our second edition. And today, we're taking to the streets. We're going to the streets of LV, LV or Smallville. And we're gonna take the city bus this time and we're going to review the best tacos the world has ever seen. And we're going to do it on a bus. That makes this food bus. Our adventure soon led us to Circle K, the best place not only to find crunchies and munchies, but even the mythical 44 ounce Polar Pop, sippable to all. You know we gotta go try Rack Savage and get that Circle K drink. What better time to ride the bus but 11 o'clock at night? <laughs> well, right after them boys got their polar pops, they took their fannies down there to the bus stop. They traveled yonder and yonder to and fro. Yeah, I reckon they got exactly what they need to do along the way. Alrighty folks, welcome to episode two of Food Bus. We're on a real deal now. We've been at top flight speeds here. We're moving like the flash. We're gonna review this food for you. Food Bus. Zach has been willing to take the first bite of the California burrito. Bite number one. How would you describe it? Dude, this thing has everything you want in it. It has french fries, cheese, carne asada, pico de gallo, tortilla, wrapped up in one blunt sized 420 burrito. That's rolled up like a California joint if you ask me. <laughs> they got Snoop Dogg to roll that joint. We have security on us. Where I'm from. 420 blade. One thing I'm gonna have to accentuate here is you have the carne asada blending with the french fries. <laughs> Never have you ever had french fries blend with carne asada and cheese. 
That's like the munchies. That's like Cheech and Chong made this burrito, dude. I'm giving it an A+. Plus. Okay, folks, so we're gonna give our final review of the Roberto's California Burrito. Um, I think that it's Oscar worthy. I think that it's the best burrito that I've ever had. And if you're gonna be eating, <laughs> and if you're gonna be eating burritos, you might as well be drinking a Circle K soda while you're at it. All right, guys, that's the end of this episode of Food Buzz. Everybody say food bus! <laughs> Alright, so I'm Tommy. This is Zach. That makes it food bus. We're about to cross the street. Remember, 420, blaze it. You gotta smoke them roaches like you was a bug bomber. And don't worry, dude. We just got off the, from the bus stop. We just got off our food bus adventure. In review, with this better audio moment, we want you to know that Circle K goes well with Roberto's, but it doesn't sit well in your stomach. You're probably gonna poop it out like diarrhea or something dude and it goes in as thick as it goes out exactly and um i hope you enjoyed the video if you do there's a subscribe button right down below it takes one second to click on it or less do that and you'll get to see more food bus episodes like this one and there's a lot more coming where that came from and uh just you know go to roberto's amen so next time that's the food bus amen